When Umar ibn Khattab عنه, was passing away, a man came into the gathering of Umar ibn Khattab and he started praising Umar عنه. He said, O Amir al Mu'mineen, you are great. O Amir al Mu'mineen, you did this and you did that. And Umar عنه, said, Tell me, will you bear testimony to this on the day of judgment? And then Abdullah ibn Abbas who came in. And Abdullah ibn Abbas who came into the gathering. And Abdullah ibn Abbas and Umar عنه, was crying. And Umar was saying, By Allah, if I could leave this dunya, that nothing is against me and nothing is for me, I would be happy. After all, Umar had achieved. Umar is saying, if I left this dunya, nothing for me and nothing against me, I would be happy. And Abdullah ibn Abbas entered the room and Umar was crying. And Abdullah ibn Abbas said, Oh Amir al-Mu'mineen, the Prophet sallallahu left this dunya and he was happy with you. No two Muslims differed regarding your Khalifat. Everybody was happy with your Khalifat. And Umar radiallahu said, I know that. But it is this matter which concerns me. This Khalifa. This matter which concerns me. And then he said, Oh Abdullah. He said, he said make me sit up. And they made him sit up. And then so he, he touched Abdullah on the shoulder. And he said, oh, Abdullah, will you bear testimony for me on the day of judgment? And Abdullah said, I will bear testimony for you on the day of judgment. And then Umar was lying in the lap of his son Abdullah ibn Umar. And he told Abdullah ibn Umar, he said, place my cheek on the ground. And Abdullah ibn Umar anhu said, why, O oh my father? Why, O oh my father? And he was kissing the forehead of Umar and he placed his cheek on the ground. He said, because if Umar is destined for Jannah, then the pillows of Jannah are softer than your thighs. And if Umar is destined for Jahannam, then you don't want a Jahannami on your thigh. Then Umar anhu told the family, he said, be moderate in my coffin, in my shrouds. Because if Allah has Jannah destined for me, then Allah will give me better than this. And if Allah has Jahannam destined for me, then Allah will strip me of these. And then he said, be moderate in my grave, in digging my grave. Because if Allah has Jannah destined for me, then He will expand my grave. And if Allah has Jahannam destined for me, then even that grave will squeeze. And then he said to Abdullah, he said, Abdullah, go and I ask Aisha radiallahu anha, will she allow me to be buried next to the Messenger of Allah and Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu? And Abdullah radiallahu anhu went and he knocked on the door and he entered the house and Aisha radiallahu anha was crying. And he said to her, give her salam. But don't say salam from Amir al Mu'mineen because today the Muslims don't have Amir al Mu'mineen. And then he asked Aisha, he said, Umar, request, would you allow him to be buried next to the Messenger of Allah, Abu Bakr? And Aisha radiallahu anha said, I had reserved that place for myself because one was my husband and the other one was my father. But I give it to Umar. And the narrations mention when Abdullah was coming, Umar was lying down and he said, make me sit up. And they made him sit up. And he entered the room and he said, oh my father, your wish has been granted. And Umar said, I had no greater wish than that. And then Umar radiallahu anhu said, when I die and you are taking me to be buried. Ask Aisha again. Because maybe because of my status, she felt compelled to give me that place. Ask her again. 
And if she agrees, then bury me there. Otherwise, bury me in the graveyard of the Muslims. And Umar anhu passed away. He was taken. He was buried next to Abu Bakr and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, He said, A man dies from the earth and bury in the earth that he was created from. And the Prophet Sallallahu said that between my rawda and my pulpit is a rawda tun min riyad al-jannah is a portion from the portions of jannah. If a man is buried in the place from the land that he is taken and created from, that means Abu Bakr, Umar, and the Prophet وسلم, were created from the clay of Jannah. They were created by the clay of Jannah.